Hi beautiful people. It's been a while, I know, but um, as promised on my blog, I told you guys that I was gonna have a whole month full of beauty um, tips and, you know, talk. So today marks the first day in the month of June, and so we're gonna start with acne. Big, big, big issue in the lives of women as well as men okay it's not going to be all about women in this series it's going to be targets of both of us so um i have been dealing with an issue of acne for a while i have been able to control it, it it's not something you can cure for good if you ask me and i'm not saying this from a professional side of view because i'm not professional when it comes to skincare but i'm still going to break out here with the other but the only way you can prevent it from happening or controlling the amount of breakouts you're going to have are uh, either by natural means or by um, dermatologist recommended products okay now i'm going to talk more of natural ways to treat acne in this series but the let me first tell you how i attack my acne before i'm not sure i have pictures of what happened to my face about a month or two ago but um, yes, if i can find a fresh face look for you i will show it to you in this video it's cleared out really well and i've been trying to clear out my scars from the breakout also so i'll show you what products i used and the more natural way that i went about it Subsequent videos will give you more tips on how to do it. I will show you setting DIY scrubs, setting DIY um, toners, and you know other things you can do at home without breaking the bank to be able to you know attack your acne. So let's get to. We're going to talk about affordable products I used. Okay, I did not spend too much. I have tried Proactive, and this was about two years ago. Proactive does work. Okay, I would say it works, but it works for a limited amount of time. And then after a while, it's just a whole different story, okay? And it's expensive. It's more on the, you know, pricey side. So that probably would not be an option for this video because, yes, I've been there, done that, no more. I started out when I had the breakout about a month ago with um, a store brand, which I found at Walmart. I think it was the, it is the Equate Beauty, okay? And I got the scrub and I got a cleanser and one thing I was suffering from, from all that acne issue, was hyperpigmentation. And if you know hyperpigmentation, then you know definitely you have to deal with a lot of exfoliating, a lot of, you know, cleansing, a lot of skin treatment. And so one thing I did get is an affordable face brush for exfoliating. But now, if you don't want to spend too much, this on exfoliating glove or anything that says exfoliating, is a good option for you okay so i got a cleanser and i got the scrub it was not expensive probably five dollars for each i believe so you're probably going to walk out of walmart or any other you know drugstore with about fifteen dollars worth of products that could do the job as i said this is supposed to be the breakout control acne cleanser and it has 10 percent benzoyl peroxide acne med medication in it and it's supposed to be a daily treatment uh, treatment apparently it's continuously fights break out even after you wash so um i'll tell you this has a tingling feeling with it 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 does a good job okay i could definitely feel it working after maybe because of the tingling yes i would say so it does the job i saw a lot of difference after using it after a few weeks uh probably about a week and a half or two you will definitely see a difference well let me just say that because it's my skin but you will definitely see a, a, a difference using this it controlled my acne. My acne's dried out and disappeared eventually. Um, the only problem I have about this cleanser, and if you haven't tried it before, it's almost out, but it comes out as a creamy lotion cleanser. And so, putting it on, yes, it feels good, but I hate the fact that it feels greasy on my skin. The only annoying part also is the fact that it's hard to take off really hard to cleanse it off and so that's the only thing about it will i get it again no i may get the scrub i may get the scrub but i would not get the cleanser again because it's too hard to take off and you have to use some other product to be able to get that off 
confused, nasty after, but does it do the job? Yes, it does. It definitely helped me out. So I use the cleanser after washing my face first off with warm water, and I'll definitely do a video on my skin routine eventually the series. So I definitely warm up my face to open up the pores, and then I go on with the cleanser to take off the dirt and the oil and all that extra stuff that, you know, contributes to acne. And then I go in with my scrub, which also has salicylic acid medication in there, um, acne medication. It's oil free, and so it does a good job at exfoliating a bit because it has some beads in there that do the job. Um, it cleared out my blackheads all right, and it gently exfoliates to remove dirt and oil, which is good. I would say it works, okay? So this, on the other hand, is probably one option for you. Um, this is the only store brand I probably would recommend because I've, I've tried seven store brands and I hate them. And, and then I probably exfoliate much more probably once a week with this little brush. I do cleanse this really well after using it. You have to clean it up because it's ridiculous because you're taking off dirt and putting back germs. So that is the first recommendation for you if you were anywhere near Walmart or anything like that. Now, what I actually did was after cleansing and all that treatment is done, I go in with my toner. This is a Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner, which I got 100% all natural. I think I got this from Amazon. I don't remember how much I got it for, but for 16 fluid ounces, it was worth the price. Um, I'm, it's not harsh, and so I can use it daily. It did an amazing job on my skin. It clears out the dirt and cleans out my pores, smooths out. You feel your baby skin right after. Like, it's it's amazing. And it's not drying. It is not at all. It, it feels really good on the skin. I did see a difference. My skin began to glow. Um, my pores started tightening up and so it covered up a lot of imperfections. My hyperpigmentation definitely cleared out. It wouldn't be perfect, but I'm still working on it. The most effective thing in my whole routine, I would say. Um, so yeah, if you want to try this out, I'll probably link the product from Amazon down in the description bar. So if you want to try it, yes, I take my cotton pad, as I said before, and then I tone up after cleansing because, you know, this is not drying, obviously. The Equid is not drying. And so going after with a toner actually made it even better. Now, another product I incorporated into my routine was the Bi Oil. If you've not heard about it, then you probably want to research about it. And I cannot talk too much about it here. I heard about Bio Oil about three years ago and it's been amazing. It's supposed to improve the appearance of scars, stretch marks, and even skin tone, aging skin, and dehydrated skin. Now, if you're suffering from acne, one thing you definitely need on your skin is water, a lot of moisture, because dry skin actually contributes to acne breakout. You need something that's gonna give you a lot of moisture. You would think this is greasy, but it's not. It absolutely absorbs into the skin like right after. You're supposed to just take a little bit of it, like maybe about one or two drops, onto your hands or your fingers and just rub it in the second motion to your skin or the affected area and it does do the job I'm telling you like this is probably the second or the first actually thinking about it probably this is the first thing that actually helped with my hyperpigmentation together with this and all the exfoliating and all those practices yes it did the job I will show you my routine as I said before and that will give you a much clearer idea of what I did step by step to get to where I am. Now you have to be consistent with whatever treatment you go with. Whatever product I put on my skin, I make sure it sits about a minute or two before I cleanse off, if I have to cleanse it off or rinse it off. If I put this thing on there, I make sure it soaks into my pores, into my skin before I put on the next product. It's not heavy at all, and so I didn't have any problem with you know feeling like I have too much going on on my skin. No, it felt really natural to me, and so yeah, like pretty much everything I used during my time of you know suffering from acne breakout about a month ago, as you can see, it's really gone down, and I'm really loving my skin lately. I saw the Neutrogena Rapid Clear treatment in the store, and I figured, okay, maybe I should go a little higher. I went for the Neutrogena Rapid Clear. Um, treatment kit. This is actually the the Rapid Clear pack I found. Um, it had only the cleanser, actually the scrub, and the treatment. Okay, now this is what it looks like. I took the, the plastic off. And this was actually about $11 for the pack, which is pretty much a deal because buying them singly for like on its own is about $7 and something. And so I got the set, which is the 
rapid clear pack um, by Neutrogena and it came with a scrub and the foaming scrub and then the acne defense face lotion and so decided to try this out. It did not come with a cleanser and so I purchased the cleanser. When I came home I tried this one out. Actually I tried the whole thing out to see how it feels on the skin. I love the oil foaming cleanser. It feels really light on the skin, not greasy in any way, easily comes off. And I feel the skin is cleansed like to the to the core, like after. Um, it's an amazing product if you ask me for a first time. Um, it's supposed to you know control shine and it lasts for hours. And so yes, that was the first time. So I would see how best it works all through the month. Um, I tried this and it's actually a good exfoliator. I, I love it. Um, it's a foaming scrub and it visibly reduces breakouts. It has salicylic acid, which is good because I either need benzoyl or um, salicylic. So that was great for me. I tried the Defense Face Lotion, which is supposed to visibly reduce breakouts in eight hours. It's pretty light on the skin. You do not even feel the product on it. it glides right through the skin, like really simple. It does not in any way feel greasy or heavy on the skin so this probably is a good product to use even under makeup or anything like that so i will definitely add that to my other treatments which is the bio oil and the toner to see if how well it works aside that okay if you're not trying to get products or spend money on products and you're trying to look for natural ways to attack acne without having to spend like a fortune or use anything medicated whatsoever I will show that in details in other videos, but I would just point out the one thing you probably want to consider is your diet. Okay, a lot of water will do a lot of good because that's one thing I had to do a lot alongside my treatment. Okay, I had to drink a lot of water, precisely about how the your weight in ounces, if that makes sense. So if you weigh about 150 or about 160 pounds then you definitely want to go about 80 fluid ounces of water a day drink that much water to cleanse out first off and then also to kind of help you clean up you know what i mean and then i do also spray my face with fresh water in a little bottle i just spray my face with fresh water before anything in the morning and that actually gives me a lot of hydration as i said dry skin contributes a lot so um yes you want to check your water intake and you know try and spritz water every time don't drench your face with water i mean just put it and just feel a little like you know hydration going on and moisture going on that's all you need to do secondly you want to control your intake of dairy chocolate uh, milk butter you know all that stuff you want to control it i'm not saying stop because it's pretty hard for a lot of people to you know stop that but try to control that to fight acne so we're going to fight acne right how about that this is about the acne recommendations i can give you affordable ones to begin the whole series so i'll be posting monday wednesday fridays and i hope you guys really enjoyed this okay so subscribe thumbs up for all the other subsequent videos coming up expect a video on wednesday and friday coming up and i hope you enjoy it oh if you haven't checked my previous videos hit the links on the sides and i hope you love this okay so this should be all i will link information down below i will link how to get the products online if you're unable to have like a walmart around you or anything like that so you can order online and i would love to see you guys on wednesday and on friday i love you all Mwah!